Welcome to this webinar. I'm Marion and I will be conducting this webinar. So today we will see some tips and tricks in the Unscrambler so as to help you to get the most of the utilities available in the Unscrambler. So well, first I will present you uh, some, uh, some tips and then you will uh, be able to ask me some more questions using the chat provided by GoToMeeting. So, you may know the Unscrambler, but maybe you don't know all of the other Camo products that are more dedicated to some application, like online, so more for acquiring uh, data online on spectrometers, and predicting on the spectrometer module. And we have another application software for optimization called Op Uncrambler Optimizer and QuadiSense for sensory panel uh, analysis. And we have professional services like training consultant and consultancy. But let's see the agenda of today. So um, first we will have a look at how to drag and drop the data from Excel. And then we will see different settings, uh, mainly for the graphics, so as to get graphics that you can properly uh, edit in Word or PowerPoint presentation. And then we will see also for the editor uh, how to maybe view all the name of the variable, the entire name, and use some tips to make calibration and validation set easily. And after I will show you how to import some more results like the B coefficient for a PLS regression or jackknifing parameters. So all those information that are stored in the model but that are not accessible right away. So I wanted to show you now for the graphics. So I will open a regression where I have some graphics and we will see what we can change. So for example here um, you have the option menu that you may know and uh, you can change a lot of things like the marker layout, if you want to have name of the no or the number of the samples, you can get some symbols. And then for the plot option, if you want to have the line, the axis, more or less uh, um, bold. And then the size of the, of the line. So you can change things here. You can add a grid on the background and you can use a scale to auto scale and have exactly the same scale uh, on every axis. Then you have the sam sample grouping where you can define if you, or you want to group your samples if it's by color or if you want to use symbols. And then you have different options to group the, sa the samples. So here uh, it's a level variable that I've been chosen. And for the marker layout, either I can keep the name of the samples or I can uh, use the name of the level variable I've been using. So as you see here I have been putting a grid on, in the background. So now to be able to make any changes um, in, in, uh, in Excel or PowerPoint, I need to set some things. It's on system setup and it will be in the viewer. It's when I'm making a copy paste, uh, no, control C, uh, so uh, a copy of uh, one of the pictures I have on my desktop. Uh, I have two different formats. I have bitmap and 
it will be fixed. I, can, I will not be able to change anything in Excel. But if I select picture, uh, I will be able to, um, to modify everything. So here I enable picture and I click OK. So now I do Control C and I will use a new presentation. And I will paste special. And here you see I have picture. So if I put this picture and I click on, I right, I right click and click on edit picture, it will convert uh, my graph as a non as a PowerPoint picture, so I can modify everything. If I want to put some colorings into the table, if I want to change the color, uh, I can I can really access all part of the graph, changing So just by enabling here in System Setup Viewer Picture, you may be able to modify everything to make it nicer in, uh, in your presentation.